Hello people of HNE Games, it feels like it's been a very long time since I've done a review for you. So let's do one. And uh, I don't think the Animorphs one went down very well. I didn't check the numbers last, but it didn't seem to go very well. So let's go for something weird and KO, shall we? This one I've saved just for you. So we're going to take a look at this. And this. And this. And this. And this. And these are five little vehicles, and you know, they're weird, they're very strange, you know. They've got like a police car. Not super detailed, but you know, it's neat enough. Okay. And we've got some kind of van with a window. I don't know, does this transport horses, or is it a... In a news van or something? Don't know. Uh, we've got a little crane. A little arm that lifts up. Doesn't extend, sadly, but, you know, that's fine. we got another one that's basically the same as that one, but slightly different colours. And that's fine. Okay. And we got this little fella, which is just a car. Now these might not seem very interesting to you, but there's a little bit more to them. So what you do is you pop this loose, now these are two little black grips that go into the gaps, and this side, lift this whole thing up, turn it around 180, rotate it down, close the sides in, fold that down again, and now we have a different car, a more beefy looking car, top speed. And that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Kind of cool, okay. So if we get this one, um, see I don't know if you're supposed to pop them loose. Yeah, they must. you must be supposed to. Ah, pop that loose, pop that loose, lift this up, turn it around, Hold it, oh no no, hold this over the top, then bring it down, <coughs> close it up, and you've got a super off-road, I don't know how this goes off-road, but it's supposed to, with, is that a big gun on top, or are they giant searchlights? I don't know, but they're there, so put that up there. We get this one, and we'll pop the side loose, pop the side loose, rotate it off, turn that around, bring it back down, drop that down, close it up, come on, lock in, there you go. And now we've got a thing with a thing that lifts up, looks like a target or something. I don't know. But sure, why not? Let's try this one. I'm going to pop this loose. Come on. I'll pop that loose. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Itch it. Do. Itch it. Come on. Ah, there we go. Get that loose. Lift it up. Turn it around. Flip this over the top. Bring it down into place. And close it back up. Okay, now it's got a weird shaped missile on top, and it's again super off-road. Sure, okay. And last but possibly not least, we're going to get these loose, bring it up, turn it around, bring it back down, close it all up. And it's a really futuristic-y car. With the thing. What's the thing? Oh. 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 I didn't tell you about that, did I? Now you see. Because this isn't the whole set. You also get this little fella. And this is a nice little spaceshipy thing. Uh... Kind of reminds me of uh, the Paris in Space 
Megazord, the Astro Megazord. But this isn't on its own, because this comes with this. And what you do there is you get this little peg and you fold it down, and that square peg there can sit in that hole. And now it's like a giant flying battleship with... Ooh, that, well, that fell off. It's a giant battleship with the two big guns, well, four big guns at the front, and little... Uh, what's it called? Little guns there, and can fly around. I think there's supposed to be like a, a base mode or something, I can't remember. Where you sort of sit it down like that, and it doesn't look any good, so let's not worry about it. But yeah, that, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Isn't it? I guess. Now, before we go any further, let's have a size comparison. So here's Legacy Wild Rider. So this is a generous deluxe, something like that. And all these little fellas are tiny, bless them. Now, why have I got this set here? Why have I got this thing? Why would they combine? Of course they combine. They've got to combine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one off, put it to the side, disconnect this, disconnect this, and I haven't done this for a while, so I'm gonna have to try and remember how this works. Okay, <clears throat> so we can get these ones, get them out, come on. Ah, okay, it might be easy to just pull the wheel, and you're gonna rotate that down, close that up, and yeah, something like that. Rotate this piece up. And this kind of grips on here, over the axle, I think. Yeah, there you go. And becomes a giant heel. So it goes like that. We'll go for that side, because the weird fin on there. <coughs> okay. So that one out. Close it back up. This one. Flip up this little bit in the middle. And it grips on to... Come on. Don't fire me. Uh, one thing I will say, the plastic tolerances on this aren't amazing. So, uh, you know, there you go. That's on there. And that can go this side. And then we'll get these two. And we're going to pull the wheel. Yeah, it's so much easier pulling the wheel. Um, yeah, this one you don't really do anything to. The, this one was a bad example. Ignore that. This one, you do that, and you actually flip out. A little jointed hand, little fingers. Leave this bit up out of the way and close it back down. There you go. So it's dealer's choice which one you want to have the hand. For argument's sake, we'll have right hand and left this. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this grip and on this black section here in the middle, see that little gap each side? Have this come down and lock on. And come down and lock on. There we go. Get these pieces. And they should, if I can get stuff out of the way, rotate down. They should. What did I just do? Oh, never mind. I'll fix it later. Rotate down to pad out the hips. That shot off. That's what I did. Okay. Plug that back in. Rotate that, rotate that. Uh, Good, and I'll just point forward. I don't know. You can do with what you want. You get this, and like that, like the same. This gap at the back here. I'm gonna go into these grips like that. Rotate. Now we got an arm. Let me bring this up a bit. It's taller than I thought it was gonna be. Ah, there you go. <clears throat> get this one and get to connect. We'll take it around and then you have it as a target so we can shoot things. There you go, his special arm, uh, aiming arm. Now we've got these pieces left over and there's no more black clippy bits. Well, what do we do? What you do is you get this piece here and you fold it down. You get this piece and fold it back. Then you can get him, and he goes in on top and locks in without that going off. There we go. 
you can flip up the head, turn it around. If you look in the back, there's a little square hole. So I think we straighten that down to the back there, fold it like this. And again, Power Rangers Astro Mega Ship style, have that drop down. And even this bit with this little sunglasses goes over the eyes to be really cool. And there we have it. It's combined mode and I'm not sure if the legs go forward. They do go forward and we've got a bend. Uh, yeah, there you go. Go out a bit. The arms will turn and go around. Yeah, that's cool, right? Come on, that's not bad. Now, I've seen these guys on Surtoys, uh, the, the individual components. I've never seen the body piece before. Uh, they're called something like Inside Out Cars. I'll try and put a link or something in the bottom there if you're interested. But I don't think I've ever seen the body. I think this was uh, from deepestdarkestwish.com when I was testing that out a while ago. Um, yeah, I had a bit of an obsession with it a few years ago and just tried out, you know, just see what I could get. And this is just... Okay, let's try and make him look a bit cool if I turn these guns around. Ooh, they're stiff, tell you what. Come on. Oh, they are stiff. Come here, you. Unpeg. Peg in that way. And just point up. There you go. That'll look a bit cooler than just sticking out the front. And you can always rotate down if you want to use them. You are there. There we go. Okay. Yeah, and again, you wanna you can make this out to be some kind of like super duper archery special move. Yeah, whatever it is you wanna do. I'm not sure what these gaps are for. I'll be honest with you, I don't know. So yeah, like I said, this is a weird and wacky combiner. It's very, very strange. It is that tall compared to uh legacy drag strip, so it's probably Generous Voyager small leader class. And it's just kind of cool, basically. It's a very, very odd creature. But what's not to love about it? The little head drone piece. Because, again, the face underneath is genuinely really good. And then you go, nah, sunglasses. Because that's cool. It's, it's just so weird and so stupid. It comes across as awesome. It just balances on that little line. There's no real kibble. Yeah, the car sits nicely in the back. It's all covered up. I mean, like I say, these things, uh, if they've got the same kind of connection, which they might have, potentially, if you somehow found this, you could swap these out with ones from, like, Sirtoys or wherever it is you find these things. So you could mix and match. I don't know how the lorries would work, because they've got the heels, which are a bit of a specific connection. It's the only thing I'm not sure about. But the rest, go nuts. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a day there, because this has gone on quite long enough. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe to HNE Toys, because, you know, HNE Toys is good. And if you want to uh, find my channel, Ugly Wretch, there should be a link or something somewhere. Well, you'll find me, don't worry about it. Uh, I've got a Patreon, I've got a PayPal, if you want to feel like donating so I can find more weird and wacky stuff like this to show you, because I think the well is getting quite dry now. And... Uh, yeah, see you in the next one, and have a good one. Bye-bye now.